hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. Hello everybody, Pancakes here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. So we've made it past the chainsaw guy through the gate, and unfortunately it seems we are still in the same village, which isn't good. But there is one of those mirrors nearby that kind of port you to the hospital, you guys know what I'm talking about, so I think we are near a safe point or something like that, but best to probably look around and we got more brain juice 8,400 that's actually kind of a lot I think we can get some good upgrades here pretty soon oh geez I should probably go stealth mode This is my brother, Valerio. Leslie's original doctor. Peel away. Let's expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? Oh shit. Nope, this isn't gonna work. I should switch my shotgun. <laughs> okay. Did I kill him? Oh no. Wishful thinking, I'm afraid. One more shot should do it. Badass. Now it's time to light him on fire. So he doesn't get up and try to kill me. Yikes. Who got an achievement though? How could he have done that to Valerio? Um, he probably wasn't himself. Which one was his brother? Was it, was it the big dude or the guy on the table? I'm not sure, but we've got be an x ray over here. Okay, well, apparently there's a key in that guy on the table over there. So maybe I need to cut him open. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, how do I do this? Um, <laughs> hold on. I'm trying to play around with different buttons here, but nothing seems to be working. I've I've literally tried every single button. I am confused. <laughs> I am so very confused. All right. Well, I've tried pressing literally every button that I can think of, and combinations of buttons, actually, at this point, I've been pressing, um, you know, different combinations, I've been trying to, you know, maybe hold down X or something while using my thumbstick, but nothing seems to be working, there is no instruction there. So I may have to come back in a little bit and give it another try, but I think in the meantime I would like to look around a little bit more, and to see if there is anything of use elsewhere in this house. That came from outside. Yeah. Yes. God, this doctor is so creepy. I feel like there's something wrong with him. I mean, <laughs> the way he just... Yes. It just sounds weird. A little, little weird. I'm sorry, man. You, you don't sound like... like I don't know. There's something off about him. Maybe it's just me. It's more of that brain juice, though. 
So there are some goodies up here. I should probably continue looking around. Flashbolt. A warhead for the Agony Crossbow that can blind opponents. And they can be killed from any direction by a sneak kill. Wow, that sounds pretty badass, actually. I'll have to give that a try the next time we find an enemy. Let's see here. So it's the one in the middle. And you can change your bolt. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and give that a try. You know, the next time we can actually use it. Let's see here. I think in the meantime, though, I'd like to save my Agony Crossbow rounds because they seem to be pretty useful and not the kind of thing you exactly want to uh, waste on mundane enemies. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. I just, when I play games like this, I tend to hoard materials like it's nobody's business. And it usually tends to work out. Being frugal and all that. Oh man, we're up to 9,000, guys. We're getting there. Oh shit, hold on. God damn it. <laughs> that was a panic toss. That didn't work out. I think he's already kind of spotted me. I'm gonna see if I can maybe creep around him. If that's even possible. Hold on. I don't think we can do it. I, I mean, it seems like every time I try to get around him, he just turns with me. Shit, yep, this ain't gonna work. Okay. Time to shoot this piece of shit. Come on. One more to the head. Nope. Nope. Wow, these guys are tough. All right, this should do it. Oh, god damn. This thing does not want to go down. Finally. That took only five bullets. No big deal. At least I got a hatchet out of it, so it's not all bad. All right. Get more shotgun shells, so can't complain too much. Alright, anything else? Or have I pretty much done everything there is to do here? There's a little hidey hole. Not too interested in that right now. I guess the only thing left to do is to give that uh is to give that key another try, see if I can get it from his body. Figure out the controls, you know, things like that. Would have been nice if they could have given some real solid instruction on to how to do it. I don't think there, I don't think there is any instruction. It's got to play with it. So it's right in the middle, I think, of his uh, abdomen there. But rather than have you guys sit around and watch me struggle with this, I will cut back later when I actually figure this out. Oh, shit! Okay. In all honesty, that was predictable, so... Um, that wasn't entirely uh, unexpected, but at the same time, still gave me a little bit of a jolt, so... Whatever. Um, <laughs> but anyway, guys, yeah, that was a pain in the ass. It took me literally five minutes to figure out how to get that guy open. And basically, you have to slide the knife all the way up near his collarbone... And then hold X and then like pull back or something. It, it's weird and, and very unintuitive, but uh, we got it. We finally figured it out. And now I'm going to go ahead and head through this mirror portal. Looks like we've got kind of a long note here. So if you guys want to read it, feel free to do so. I'll cut back in a little bit. All right. So basically he's got a crush on his uh, fellow co-worker. Or at least that's what it seems like. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, save our game. Check out some of these upgrades. Nothing in here. And let's get her done. I knew it. Well, I don't know what else you were expecting here, man. And I'm still not entirely sure what this um, hospital is and why it is that I'm here. Hopefully they answer it. It would be kind of a bummer if they just kind of left this whole entire sequence um, sort of just hanging. I feel like they won't, but... You should find this know. useful. Why can't I save? Why is it... Why is it... Uh, crossed out. <laughs> why can't I save? 
Oh, she wants me to do something. This way, please. Okay. This is interesting. We haven't come back here yet. Hmm. Where are you taking me? My question exactly. You don't talk much. This place is weird. Kind of reminds me of Silent Hill, I'm not going to lie. Oh, maybe it has something to do with one of these boxes. Maybe that's what that key's for. Detective Castellanos? Yes. You have a key like this. Sure do. That key will allow you to open this door. Which door? Or is she just talking about these, like, random saves? Ah, okay. I see what you're doing. Um, let's pick this one. The contents are yours. Please, come back whenever you need to. Sick. Got some shotgun shells from that. Okay, so it looks like whenever you get one of those keys, you can open up these boxes and uh, grab whatever's in them. So that's good to know. Anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. Got some pens. That's not really useful for us. Yep, this definitely reminds me of Silent Hill. I don't know why exactly. I just kind of get that vibe from this hospital. That's not really the kind of vibe you want to get. <laughs> not really. Silent Hill is not somewhere you want to be. But I think we've done everything there is to do back there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these upgrades. And see what we can do with our 9,000 uh, upgrade materials. Should be quite a bit. Um, 9,000 is quite a bit. I remember a lot of the upgrades were like in the 2,000, 3,000 range. So there may be a lot of options here. Yes, we can increase our life now, maximum sprint time, which is something I'm seriously considering. Because honestly, this guy needs to work on his endurance a little bit. Uh, melee damage, syringe recovery. So these are all some pretty good upgrades. Um, it's kind of tough to choose which one because they all seem so good. Uh, we got Agony Bolt upgrades now. This wasn't here before. And these are also pretty expensive, but we can upgrade each of our three different bolts here. The explosive bolt, flash bolt, and harpoon bolt. I'll take a look at those again later. I'm going to take a look at what we've got here. Make sure that we've got the whole breadth of everything that's available. Um, mm, a lot of here, too. We could hold more syringes. That's another one that I'm actually pretty interested in. In terms of weapon upgrades, we'll do anything with the shotgun. Possibly. The uh, critical hit damage increase is also something that seems interesting to me. And in terms of the Agony Crossbow charge time also seems pretty good. So there's a lot of choices here. I think I'm going to go with maximum sprint time though. Because honestly I think it would be very useful being able to run an extra second. Uh, let's see what else. We got 6,000 still. Wow we still have a lot. Okay. Well let's take another look at these weapon upgrades. Specifically at the Agony Crossbow. I think we can go with increasing the charge time. I think that might make it a little bit easier to use. And I think the next thing we might want to look at here is possibly syringe recovery. That one also seems like it has potential to be pretty good. I think. Well, hold on. I don't, I don't think so. I might want to uh, increase my syringe carrying capacity instead because I... I've noticed that I get a lot of syringes that I can't carry sometimes, or at least it's what it feels like. I could just be completely wrong, <laughs> but um, I think I might just want to extend the amount I can carry to three. That might be better for now, and you know, I'm getting these a lot, so in the future, I'm sure I can come back and, and get that upgrade. And finally, let's do the critical hit uh, percentage increase because I think, barring anything else here that looks really good and nothing else really does, I think this might work out pretty well for us, you know, get those headshots. And that does it. Wow, it just blew through 9,000 brain goo like it's nothing. Man. But now I think we can finally save our game, which is good. I don't want to really do that all again. In case we die or something like that. Alright, so let's go and override the save. Yes, please. And I think that'll do it, guys. I think this is probably a good place to cut it off. I do hope you all enjoyed the video.
and I'll see you guys next time.